Probably the most important skills in being a firefighter uh, in general are um, resilience, I think, um, like personal resilience. Um, obviously you've got to be strong, fit and strong. Um, and um, you also need to have that really um, innate ability to take direction, um, listen to what you're told and be able to enact that um, you know, accurately um, and in a timely fashion, I think. Probably the most, the most important things. So there are a lot of pathways in progression um, with a firefighter role and it's, it's, um, it's, it's awesome actually. You can, really, you can really structure your career in whatever direction you want once, you're, once you've gone through the first stages. Um, you know, there's everything from um, high angle rescue operators, straight up rescue operators, um, there's um, specialists in the ladder platform, um, teleboom operations, that sort of stuff for bigger structure fires. Um, and all the way through, if you want to stay operational, you will obviously follow the path of um, station officer, senior station officer, uh, and then they go all the way up to, you know, the chief fire officer and um, that oversees the whole thing. So they, they make it really accessible um, to you to basically structure your career the way that you want. So you, you, know, you, can, you can do as much or as little as you want. Who makes a good firefighter? Anyone who has that innate um, sense of service um, and that need to help the community. I think it doesn't matter um, it doesn't matter what colour you are, it doesn't matter what sex you are, it doesn't matter what, who you relate to um, or align yourself with. Um, if you've got those, those innate qualities um, and you really want to, and this is what you really want to do as a job, you can do it. Anyone can do it. Mm -hmm.